I got the idea for my book, Closed for the Season, from this old abandoned amusement park I used to take my kids to when they were little. And a number of years went by and the park just sat here, neglected and grown over. And I got curious about it. I came up to take a look at it and got back in, uh, sneaking through a hole in the fence. I was back there and it occurred to me it would make a great site for a book. A woman who works in an amusement park is suspected of stealing money. But before any charges can be brought against her, she is murdered. The police are sure there's a connection between her murder and the disappearance of the money, but years pass and the crime remains unsolved. Then the house is finally sold, a new family moves in, and the boy, Logan, discovers from his next door neighbor, Arthur, the history of his house. It creeps him out to realize a woman has actually been murdered in the very house he's living in. They look up the case, they find out some facts about it, and decide that the best thing to do is to go out and have a look at the enchanted forest itself. The boys go there together, they meet a rather sketchy character in the park, and they feel that somehow they're being warned off. But this doesn't stop them. They're absolutely determined to get to the bottom of Mrs. Donaldson's murder and the disappearance of the money.